currently 90 plus percent of what's being used is just the field method. It's something that's tried and true. Uh, as for the watermark sensors, it would come in next. Um, some guys are putting them out there and finding good results with them. And then the model is starting to grab hold uh, as they make it simpler to use. The field method is actually just when you go out to the field, uh, you take a probe, uh, probe the soil and actually put it in your hand and take a feel of the soil and estimate the actual water holding capacity based on how it feels. You'll actually look at different areas in the profile. So you look at the top six inches primarily early on as that's where the crop's going to use most of the moisture but you'll also go down into the 12 and the 24 inch layers and that will give you a better reading as soil depth and that's the areas you want to keep charged with, with moisture. Watermark sensor is just a uh, sensor that's put into the ground in the spring of the year and then throughout the year you go out and take readings off that through a device that you hook up uh, whenever you're in the field you'll take readings and that will give you the difference between uh, the tension between the soil and the water that's in the ground and that reading spit out and then that is entered into a computer and it'll give you a value for available moisture. With the watermark sensors, typically you're going to want to be somewhere where you can access the field e easily because you're going to be going in on a weekly basis or every so often to collect the information directly from them. So generally they're installed right along the pathways going into the irrigation uh, center and you're going to be wanting to be just off the pathway but you also want to be in a spot where you're going to damage the crop as minimal as possible. Typically low-lying areas will hold more moisture where high areas will be lower moisture so a medium area or a nice flat area of the field will give you a good representation. Computer modeling uh, or also known to us as the Alberta Irrigation Management Model, uh, AIM, uh, it uses uh, weather data primarily, historic and current, to give you an outline of uh, what, what uh, might be the moisture available within the soil based on what the crop potentially is using within those parameters of the temperature and uh, precipitation and so on. Mm -hmm.